By now you've heard about the government's $1.4 billion Tablets in Schools program, which is equipping students with the latest technology. Did you know government is doing the same for students with disabilities? Special needs students from a number of schools were recently equipped with specialized equipment, software and supplies tailored to their unique learning needs. It's another example of government's commitment to social inclusion and protection for the most vulnerable, a strategic priority. There'll be a better tomorrow. There'll be a better tomorrow. Technology levels the playing field. Technology provides creative solutions that enable individuals with disabilities to be more independent, productive, and included in society and community life. It's that belief that fueled the recent partnership between the Ministry of Science, Technology, Energy and Mining and the University of the West Indies Centre for Disability Studies. With $34 million in funding from the e-learning program, they bought over 60 specialized pieces of equipment and software for students with disabilities. The specialized pieces of equipment and software constitute the latest and most modern that is available for different types of disabilities. Consequently, the deaf, the blind, physically disabled, and those with intellectual disabilities will be benefiting from this transformative initiative. These initiatives will undoubtedly contribute to a marked improvement in the education of persons with disabilities and ultimately lead to their matriculation to for tertiary education. The items include a job access with speech, JAW software that converts print to voice for blind persons. Then there's software for the deaf, which is in the form of sign language, production of videos, training and management. Students who may not have the use of their hands get access to software that lets them speak rather than type information into a computer. Where the blind is concerned, we have purchased equipment that will enable the Salvation Army School for the Blind now to prepare subject areas in maths uh, using the modern technology uh, to draw circles, triangles, that sort of stuff, so that a, a blind person will be able to feel those, uh, those, those, those shapes. And that is very critical in the learning process. The items went to seven schools. The Salvation Army School for the Blind, Listermere Gilby School for the Deaf, Woodlawn Special School, Randolph Lopez Special School, Carberry Court Special School, Landila Special School, and Danny Williams School for the Deaf. And as a bonus, there is one school, a special needs school, Windsor. They will be, all the students and teachers there will be getting their own individual tablet computer. As part of the project, sign language will be incorporated in the teaching of mathematics, English, information technology, building construction, woodwork and biology at the seven institutions. It's anticipated that the use of these assistive technology will result in real life changing experiences for the young people. The Ministry of Education is helping to make that a reality. The Ministry of Education pledges to offer specialist training for teachers in the use of technology for the needs of those who are challenged. Government strategic priority number five in action, using technology to support social inclusion and protection. We believe that it is only when every single Jamaican has access, ready access, 24 seven access to computer technology that will be able to, to successfully claim of bridging the digital divide, but more importantly, to enable our people to be on par with any country in the world. 
I myself have, you know, benefited from this program, you know, accessing the internet, you know, having, you know, special, you know, fun, even getting researches. So I must say um, a very well, th a very thank you to all of you. And I'm sure that this, these equipments are very well received and it will help us towards, you know, growing as it relates to getting jobs.